You're watching Hot Ticket, your source for what's happening in Hampton Roads. I'm your host, Michelle Seeger. Hanging out at the Virginia Beach Oceanfront, it's never really a hardship, but during the Neptune Festival Boardwalk weekend, all I can say is plan to be wowed. Becky, maybe you can give us a little more eloquent description of what's going to go on? Well, it's the 41st annual Neptune Festival Boardwalk weekend, so beginning Friday, there will be a plethora of activities for everyone. Um, the uh, festivities will happen between 2nd Street and 36th. There are four stages of musical entertainment. There is a art and craft festival with over 100, 270 artisans that will be along the boardwalk. There is the Grand Parade on Saturday. There is a volleyball tournament on <laughs> Saturday and Sunday. Uh, there's an 8K and a 5K run. Good and of course, night. the featured event of the uh, Neptune Festival is the Neptune's International Sand Sculpting Championship. And that will be Friday, Saturday, and Sunday with extended viewing through the following weekend also. So if you're not able to get down, this weekend to see it, then you'll be able to visit it after the festival is over. So tell us a little bit more about the sand sculpting because, I mean, that's a big competition. It's a big competition. It's the largest of its kind in the United States, and it's got also the largest purse. So that helps us attract really great sand artists from around the world. And I do mean around the world. We have 30 competitors that will be coming. They compete in two divisions. We have a solo division, which is just the individual artists, and then we have a teams division. So we have... Uh, 10 teams and 11 solo artists making up the 30 that will be participating and they have they will actually begin their carve on today Monday uh, and so they begin t um, carving on Monday and then they will finish at 2 o'clock on Thursday and then their their sculptures are open for public viewing beginning Friday morning at 9 so it's a timed competition they have so many hours a day that they can sculpt they're not adhering to a theme they're allowed to create their own um, beautiful sculptures based on their own, uh, I guess, whatever it moves them at the moment. And I mean, some of these are just, I mean, jaw-dropping amazing. Oh, they're, yeah, they're, they're really amazing. And it's really amazing to watch them work. Um, there's a real uh, intricate process that goes on. They will begin on Monday with just giant piles of sand. And then they have forms. And so they do what's called the pound down. And so creating, you know, various forms that if their sculpture is going to be long, it might be a long pound down. But they need to really compact the sand. And then once they compact the sand and remove the, um, the forms that are around it, then they begin carving and they can use a variety of utensils but I mean maybe there it's like brushes and you know knives and things that can help them kind of slice and mold the sand to um, their you know to to fit their their bill so it's very exciting you yeah. know they're judged on Thursday afternoon and the judging uh, decisions will be available on Friday once they're open to the public, but they're judged on a lot of things like height. I mean, being able to get, you know, uh, tall, you yeah. know, and not have your, your sculpture collapse. So, I mean, there are lots of things that go into yeah. to doing this. On top of that, I mean, big headlining musical acts for this. Big headlining musical acts this year. We have Big Head Todd and the Monsters, and Sister Hazel will be at 17th Street on Saturday night. Um, the Atlantic Rhythm section will be down there, and so and Cowboy Mouth. So we've got great headline music on Friday and Saturday night. We mm -hmm. have a family stage on 13th Street yeah. that will be more um, oriented towards you know younger kids and families, and so that should be a lot of fun too. So the the big music stages are on 17th Street, 24th Street, and 31st Street, and music begins Friday at 5:30. So it's 5.30 p.m. until 11. It starts Saturday uh, at 1 and we'll go to 11. And then again on Sunday at 1 and go to 6. So there's plenty of time to get down there and enjoy your favorite band. And all the, the complete band lineup is also on the Neptune Festival website. Yeah. So if one, someone wants to go and see, you know, when their favorite's playing, they can, they can go there and get it. And then there's fireworks on top of that. Fireworks are Saturday night at 9 o'clock. And that will be, um, they are shot from the 14th Street Pier. So really they're visible from anywhere along the oceanfront and so hopefully we'll have a beautiful night and a beautiful firework display. This is Boom Boom Zambelli, the famous <laughs> Zambelli firework family and they've done a, a great job and have done the f festival for many years. So. I'm telling you, there's too much stuff to even get to. We're running out of time. Well, but. you can run out of time but there's three days so you can get down there on Friday, you know, when the festival opens and oh, yeah. then you can go for the whole weekend. And up to the minute info is available at NeptuneFestival.com or by calling 498-0215. I'll see you there. For Hot Ticket, I'm Michelle Seeger.